Right, got something a bit different here for a change. This is a cylinder head from a pre-war Sunbeam. Um, I would think, looking at the size of it, I don't know, I've been told, I think it's from a 500. Um, <laughs> it's a big heavy thing. Um, the owner brought it to me because the valves were a very sloppy fit in the guides and he asked me if I could do anything about that for him. And I said that uh, going on sort of past experiences, I thought I might have an idea that I could use. And sure enough, once again, Royal Enfield have come to the fore. I heated the cylinder head up in the oven. The uh, exhaust guide was cast iron and the inlet guide was phosphor bronze. So someone has been doing something with it before. Not surprising. I mean, it's probably knocking on the door of... Well, certainly over 90 years old, if not nudging 100. Um, so it's probably had some uh, overhauls in its time. But what I noticed, there's um, there's two little holes there. One there and one there. <coughs> Excuse me. And there for oil feeds into the valve guides. And uh, the, uh, the inlet guide, when I took it out, certainly... You can see it's got that hole in it. What they usually have actually is like what's called an annular groove as well as a hole so that you don't have to worry quite so much about aligning the hole with what you got in the cylinder head. Uh, you just get a groove going round, a shallow groove and that'll sort of pick up oil coming from the feed hole in the cylinder head. Whichever way round you put the guide. But anyway, what I'm going to do... Oh, and I noticed that uh, the exhaust guide it has got no hole for oil to get in, so uh, the replacement I'll be conjuring up, I'll make sure it's got one. <clears throat> is what I'm going to do, I've got this, uh, this was actually a used, uh, worn out Royal Enfield bullet valve guide, but the outside diameter of it is exactly the same as the Sunbeam ones. And because the diameter of the valve in the Royal Enfield was smaller, it didn't matter that the guide was worn, I put it in the lathe, and bored it out to suit the larger diameter stemmed sunbeam valves. And I've now got a nice, very nice fit there. So it's been spun in a lathe, a suitable size drill put through it. That left it a little on the tight side and then I finished it off with a reamer. So I've got a perfect fit for the, uh, the valves now. And incidentally, um, here's the old guide. It might actually probably see that waggling around. You can also hear it. And the same goes for the, uh, the old exhaust guide. They were quite floppy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a oil feed hole at the right depth from the underside of the uh, flange there, as per this one. But I'll also run what's called an annular groove around it, level with the hole, uh, because it, this really should have had one. And I'll also make sure that whatever I fit for the uh, exhaust is uh, similarly modified. And what I'm going to do next, I'll probably drill the hole and the annular groove and then I'll warm the cylinder head up again and fit this and see how things go. There is a possibility that although um, I've machined it, I've held it in the lathe, obviously, by this section here and bored it through, there is the possibility that this outer sort of diameter circumference could have become slightly deformed when it was in a Royal Enfield cylinder head and, of course, it's been driven out. But what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, machine it and fit it anyway and see what sort of alignment I've got with the valve and the seat. And if it's okay, I'll leave it in situ, and grind the valve in or recut the seat, whatever I need to do. If it's miles off, I'll order some new Royal Enfield bullet guides and start from scratch. So um, something a little bit different to do today. Uh, so I better get on and uh, start machining and get this in the oven and get it warming up and hopefully We'll come back to it fairly soon and with any luck find that uh, we've got it with uh, nice fitting valves in the guides and uh, good seatings on the valves in the head and that it's all ready to go back on the engine for the owner. So I'll update that once I've done a little bit more work with it.